Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Crank and Boom ice cream. We have the Small Batch Club. This is bubble gum. And uh, it was very expensive. It was $12. Crazy. So if you go in our area, if you go to Whole Foods or the other places that sell it, uh, you can actually get it cheaper at Whole Foods. If you go to the mothership, the place where they make it, which is on Manchester Street in Lexington, Kentucky, it's gonna cost you 12 bucks. And so that's what we pay, $12. And uh, so this is bubble gum. And I think I got you a little, yeah, a little description. Um, it says bubble gum ice cream has arrived. This flavor is bubble gum ice cream with bits of fruity, colorful bubble gum mixed in. That's how they describe it. I do not have calories for you. Um, yeah, it's just, this is one pint. And, uh, so, and, and let me tell you this too. If you're local and you do want to go down to Manchester Street, you better go early. Because there, there's about five parking places, and there's about a million people that want to go down well, you there. Can, you can park in the bigger parking lot and you just have to walk. And uh, so, you um, you really need to go early if you, if you want a place. Now, all you're going to All the gum. Well, go ahead and show it. I know. They only put it on the top. It uh, It's pink. Looks like bubble gum. They do sell Crank and Boom on Gold Belly. But I'm almost positive Gold Belly is not going to ever have these small batch flavors. Because right. I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Definitely bubblegum. I like the texture of the ice cream. Wow, that is like the perfect bubblegum flavor. Do I think it's a little overdone? Um. And these aren't, this isn't sealed because we did buy it from where, right, place where, they make where, it. where they make it. So yeah. I wasn't worried about it not being sealed. Yeah, they, they give it to you. Mm. They don't scoop it while you're waiting. It's already scooped, but I'm going to get a piece right of there. the gum in here. Yeah, go ahead. Um, it's, it's way too overdone for me. It's, I mean, it's a thousand percent bubble gum. That's for sure. And the gum usually gets really hard. Mm-hmm. Because it's frozen. <laughs> the gum is, is um, it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. It'll, it usually once you chew it, it'll soften up. Oh, but, but it has a great flavor. What, what kind of gum do you think it is? Um, Because it kind of looked like chiclets a little bit. Like it looks like chiclets. Was it, it, was, it looked like it was round. It looks like chiclets, but I don't know. I think you should try a piece. Look, look at all those pieces. You should try a piece. Yeah, that looks like a, a square chiclet. Mm -hmm. But now, I have this gum in my mouth because I got like two pieces at once and it's a decent size. Mm -hmm. What are you supposed to do with it? Do I swallow it so that I can eat more ice cream? Hmm. Yeah, it's decent gum. It's actually, um, once you get it soft and, mm -hmm. and um, not frozen, it actually it's a nice soft um, chewy gum. I do not think this is overdone at all. Not well, even a little bit. You don't think it's like a little artificial? No, not at all. It's definitely artificial. I think it is the perfect bubblegum flavor. It's absolutely fresh, delicious. It's extremely <coughs> creamy. I love the texture. Um, the texture is wonderful. I could eat that entire pint with no problem at all. None. And I love how the melty part at the bottom. It is getting melty. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's just a little too strong a bubble gum flavor. I, 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 but, but I, it's just me. I literally would give that a five out of five. If you like bubble gum flavor, just a, a classic bubble gum flavor, you know, this like isn't- a bazooka. Yeah, this isn't, a, but it's better than bazooka to me. But it's not, you know, strawberry, grape, or cherry or anything. This is classic bubble gum. That's what you're getting out it of it. It is, I agree. Um, and I do, I am glad that they only put, as far as we know, they only put the pieces on the top. I think that was smart because once you do get the, the pieces in your mouth, it, it is like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Do I swallow? And you saw I swallowed it. Um, 
but do you swallow it so that you can eat more ice cream? Well, you have to do that. So, um, I'm glad they only put it on the top to give it kind of like a little flair. Um, I think that was a good idea. As a um, kid, I would just save it to the end. I think so too. I think um, now that I know. They used know, to get it at Baskin Robbins, you sell a bubble gum. And did it have little pieces like this? Uh -huh. It was all pink though. It wasn't multicolor. No, I'm saying it just. So they did. It had pink bubble gum, gum in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I would, I would kind of eat around those and save those to the end, and just uh -huh. eat the whole spoonful of gum at the, at the end. I wonder if they still sell that. I don't know. They had a lot more gum in there, though. It was all mixed in the whole thing. Right. It wasn't just on top. Yeah. See, I'm glad they Crank and Boom did just put it on the top. Especially as big as they are, I'm thinking the ones Bass and Robin have are smaller. Small. Was yeah. it actually like bazooka gum? Or? No, it was just some kind of gum like that. With right. More coating on the outside. Right. Well. I would get this again. I just like it. I think it's, it's wonderful. It's good. I, I think it's good. I think they did an excellent job of representing mm -hmm. bubblegum. Yes, I just, they did. Me, personally, it's just a little too much. Right. Uh, but, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's got different tastes. Uh, right. I think, I think well, many people would love this. Right. So, I don't know when they do these small batches. I don't know how often they... I think they do, like, once a week or something. But I don't know how often, like, they come back. Right, you or know, they hang around for that matter. Yeah, like I'm thinking they make enough for that for just a little while and then they come out with something else. But it might come back like every six months. It come, might come back once a year. It might never come back. I don't know because we haven't been buying from Crank and Boom long enough for me to know. Uh, but if you are local and you can get it, I think it's worth getting if you like bubblegum. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.